Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And for you guys, this is another movie review. Today we're tackling the newest Disney film, I guess, uh, uh, not a remake, it's more of a ride-to-film film, I guess, uh, with Jungle Cruise. Now, uh, I believe this just came out today or a few days ago, or very, very new. Um, I'm not going to have any spoilers, so if you haven't seen the film, it's on Disney+. Plus. I think you got to pay a little bit, or you can go to the theater like I did. But again, no real spoilers uh, there. But uh, first of all, if you're not really familiar with the Jungle Cruise ride, essentially it's a Magic Kingdom, Adventureland, and uh, you basically board a cruise, like a little mini boat, and uh, your skipper tells you jokes, and you go through a little uh, thing with different animatronic animals and people, and it's you know just, it's just kind of like a comedic uh, boat ride, and it's, it's nice, you know, it's it's fun. Um, nothing necessarily adventurous or violent or action-packed about it. It's just. You, you, you freaking go on a boat, and then they tell jokes, and you, you leave. It's a really fun ride, but again, it, it's it's not necessarily this film, you know. Like, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, uh, that was just more pirates, you know, just doing their thing. And then they made the whole Jack Sparrow thing, and they made five movies on that. Um, Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy, I'm not a huge fan of that film, but, you know, it's okay. Um, not really, again, it's loosely based on that ride. Um, and this is the same type of thing, you know, you basically have these... Um, you know, none of these characters in this film, uh, besides maybe like Trader Sam, and, uh, you know, a few other things, you know, they're in there, but, uh, it, it's, it's very good. I think it's very good. Um, you know, it's not Pirates of the Caribbean number two. You know, it's not that good. It's not that magical. It's not that memorable as the Pirate fr uh, franchise. That is like freaking lightning in a bottle, you know. You, you, it's very hard to do that with a, with a ride. And uh, I think they're going to be rebooting Haunted Mansion, but Jungle Cruise was good. Um, and it really surprised me because the trailers didn't look too good. They kind of looked a little bit cheesy, kind of, um, not kiddy, but just kind of like too jokey. You know, I was like, oh, two jokes, oh, uh, joke, funny, 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 you know. And I get it, it's Disney, you know, but it is PG-13, not a kid's film. Uh, it is very violent and, uh, you know, not as violent as like the Lone Ranger or, uh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, something like that. But it is violent. Um, but, so we're going to start off this review with, I guess, uh, I guess the bad uh, there is a secondary villain. Of course, the main villain is the bug guy that you see in the trailers. Um, he's all right. You know, he's cool. Uh, but the, the other guy, he's also in the trailer. He's, he's like the German guy. He's like the fat, bald German guy. He's like, Twitch can look at it. You know, whatever. He says, I don't know. And, uh, you know, he shoots a missile. You know, they're like, Dah! you know, that scene from the trailer. Um, so he's in there. I don't like him at all. I think, uh, as, as a villain, he's not a good villain. He's very, uh, basically, it's just like a fat guy from Germany. Um, with a gun, with a Luger, all right, that, that, that's it, you know, that, that's all it is, um, nothing horrible, uh, you know, the bug guy is actually a good villain, but, uh, you know, this guy's just kind of there, you know, he is intimidating, uh, especially in the end, but, you know, in terms of, like, you know, your Davy Jones or Butch Cavendish or, or the bug guy, you know, there's, there's definitely a, uh, you know, there, there's better villains out there than just, you know, that guy with a gun. Uh, but, you know, it's all right, whatever. He doesn't look menacing. He's just a, he's just a dude, but whatever. What are you going to do? Um, the other negative would have to be the CGI. I think that it is good, uh, you know, for the for the time. But uh, I, I don't think that it is as good as, like, Pirates 5 or Lone Ranger or something like that. Because um, the way I see it, you know, Marvel movies and Star Wars, right, those are supposed to be, like, real life, you know. Jungle Cruise... Pirates of the Caribbean, those are more exaggerated areas of real life. So, you know, the jungle, you're watching this film for a comedic adventure with drama and action, right? That's what it is. So the CGI kind of reflects that, you know, because you're not going to see a freaking bug guy down the street. You know, I mean, maybe if you're doing some, something you shouldn't be doing. But, uh, you know, I do think that uh, you're not going to see that in everyday life. And for the most part, it looks good. It doesn't look as good as it should. But still, I think it's, you know, it's, it's serviceable. It's passable. It's not uh, not too bad, but I didn't, I, you know, it doesn't take you out of it. It's not like you're watching it and you're like, oh, that sucks, you know, this movie sucks. You know, no, not like that. CGI is good, not as great as you should have been, though. There's a few moments um, where I'm like, oh, that doesn't look too good. You know, the tiger doesn't look that great. Bug guys look okay. Uh, but, you know, nothing nothing too insane. The the actual, like, you know, shots and the, uh, you know, the, the, the CGI backdrops and the waterfalls and the, all these, the jungles, you know, all this stuff that is actually CGI in this film looks good. But there's a few things that kind of stand out. Um, another thing I didn't like about this film is that the guy, uh, you have, you know, Dwayne Johnson playing uh, Frank, and then you have uh, Emily Blunt pay, uh, playing Lily. 
Uh, they're good. They're really good. I think they have good comedic timing. They have really good chemistry. They work well together. They're really funny, really action-packed. They're, they're perfect in their roles. There's another guy, Lily's brother, I think, McGregor, not Connor. Uh, just, or Ewan. It's not, hello there. It's not Ewan McGregor. It's, uh, girly McGregor. I'll say that. Um, I don't know if Disney was trying to push a certain something down our throats, uh, but I will just say that I didn't like him. He is funny at times. I do think that he is pretty funny. A lot of the comedic moments come from McGregor, this, this you know, the brother. Um, so, you know, he's not just complete waste. Uh, but honestly, I'd take him out. I don't care. Just get him the fudge out of here, man. He's funny sometimes. Uh, you know, he does do something in the end that's pretty heroic, I guess. But for the most part, he's just kind of there to make jokes and be wimpy. He's basically, you know, uh, the, Disney's going with the whole, you know, Dwayne Johnson's the cool guy, Emily Blunt Lily, you know, she's the, the badass girl, you know, that's, and not, I don't have a problem with girls doing that or being that way, it's just, you know, that they seem to be pushing that, so you get Lily, she's, you know, the, the, the tough girl that can't be beat, uh, and then you have the dude that's kind of a wimpy, really a girly wimp, that's, that's what I can, he's just, like, there to be jokes and cringe and be disgusted at everything, and look, as a dude, it's just, it got annoying real quick, you know. First few times, all right, he's kind of funny. He's a comic relief. And then for the millionth time, he just kept wimping and biatching and being, a, a, you know, afraid of everything. It's like, God, go, go, go away. You know, get out of my movie, you know, for God's sake. Um, again, he does do something in the end that kind of rewards that, I guess, uh, horribleness. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not trying to say he's a horrible character. I just didn't like him. He's a good actor. It's not like his acting was bad or the writing. It was just his portrayal, you know, the, 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 the thing. He just, he just seemed like too much of a wimp to me. Um, and it really kind of was a stark contrast between this dude that, you know, normally the dudes are the cool guys and the women are the, the eh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but of course, you know, they flipped it on his head. Uh, and look, you know, it's not, it's not for me. It's not for me. The guy just freaks out. He's wimpy too much. Uh, but other than that, I do think that, uh, Dwayne's good. Lil, uh, uh, what's your face? Emily Blunt, she's good. Um, everyone is good, you know, except for that dude and uh, the, the, the fat Russian guy with the Luger. He's just kind of there. Um, nothing about what I've been saying, though, is a deal breaker. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like don't go to the theater and don't see this film. It's very much worth your time, though, and that's really all the negatives I can really get towards. Um, and normally I don't have this many negatives with a film. Uh, maybe an, I had a negative when I was watching the movie, you know, because the, the beginning, without spoiling it, the beginning is very much, uh, you know, it, it, it it's really quick. It's like... It zooms past, you know, and if you're not paying attention, you're going to freaking miss it. And I was paying attention, and I was like, did I miss something? You know, what, what the fudge is going on? Because, uh, they, they, you know, they run past this kind of origin story of the bug guy, uh, and then they, they go right into the, 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 the Russian guy just shooting and killing everyone. And it's like, what's happening? You know, and thankfully, by the end of the film, everything does make sense. Uh, you know, if you're paying attention, there was a little, like, a seven, eight-year-old girl in there. Of course, it's PG-13. I don't think it's for children. They took her, whatever. It's, it's Disney, so Disney's for kids, you know, whatever. Uh, but I do think that, uh, I don't think, again, I didn't talk to her, but I'd imagine the seven-year-old in the freaking theater didn't know what the hell was going on because my mom didn't know what the hell was going on. And I'm like, no, this is, that's that, and he's doing that, and she's doing that, and this is the character arc for that. You know, and look, I'm franchise fanatic. You know, I know a lot about movies and franchises and how they're made, and how, uh, but, you know, the average, you know, little girl that shouldn't be watching it Probably won't understand. Uh, but again, you do need to pay attention to the beginning because, again, it kind of goes really quick. Um, but I do want to mention this one more time. It does make sense in the end. Trust me. You're not going to walk out of the theater and go, wait a minute. That thing in the very beginning, they didn't go back to that. They do go back to it. And it all makes sense in the end. So don't worry about that. Again, I was, I was going to mention that as a negative, but during the movie... I, you know, it wasn't, so, it, you know, I was gonna, I, literally, in my head, I'm thinking, I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, this is stupid, like, what the fudge is going on, this makes no sense, and then it all makes sense in the end, and you're like, oh, that's it, you know, it's like a Knives Out thing, we're like, oh, that's why they did that, you know, um, but yeah, the action scenes are good, the choreography is really nice, I think that they're really good in that, the, uh, the fight scenes, while they're not as brutal as Pirates of Lone Ranger, still has a lot of violence in it, you know, people get shot, crushed, beat, kicked, whipped, uh, you know, drowning things, there's a bunch of uh, peril and drama, so it's, it's a very much different than the ride, you know, the ride is literally, you sit in a boat, you hear a few jokes, you get out, this is, you're almost getting killed, you're almost drowning, you know, there's a love interest, there's a romance plot, there's a, you know, comic relief, there's a freaking tiger, you know, there's a lot of good things in there, um, but really, the, the best good things I can say is that it feels like a mix between Indiana Jones and Pirates of the Caribbean, that's what it feels like. It feels like they're kind of going through that, 
and uh, they're kind of like, okay, we're, we're going to have adventure, we're going to have action, we're going to have, uh, you know, intensity, we're going to have funny moments, and it's very funny. Another really good positive, this is a very funny movie. If, if anything, it might be funnier than Pirates of the Caribbean, and I freaking love those. Those are really funny movies. Uh, Lone Ranger is kind of funny, but uh, this one is definitely very, very funny, and not just because the wimpy guy's freaking out and, you know, like an old grandma. That's not what happens, you know, he's not, that's not, he is funny, but that's not the only source of comedy in this film. Uh, you know, Frank and Lily, they're funny. Uh, the fat German guy going, you know, whatever he's doing, he's funny. Um, you know, everyone's kind of comedic in a, in a, in a sense. Um, it isn't comedy like, oh, laugh, shove it down your throat, funny, you know. Uh, it, it, it actually is organically comedic. It makes sense. You do laugh. I laughed a lot. I didn't expect this to be that funny, you know, because the trailers make it seem like it's that cheesy humor where they're just kind of quipping after quip after quip after quip, and then they're hopefully, you know, you laugh. Um, I don't have a problem with that type of movie. It's just when you sh have that many movies like that, kind of get a little bit annoying. Thankfully, this movie was not like the trailers, and it actually earned all of its comedic value, which is really nice. Um, again, CGI great for the most part. Positive and a negative there. Uh, the story, again, without uh, ruining the story, uh, you know, Lily's trying to uh, find some kind of flower thing that heals things, heals people from basically any injury, um, and she chooses, you know, uh, Frank Dwayne the Rock Johnson to, uh, you know, take her on this on this journey. Um, there's more to Frank than you think. Uh, there's a massive, massive twist. If you do know it, do not say it in the spo in the comments below. Don't spoil it. Um, something happens because they don't even hint it at the trailer. It's just like holy crap! You know, a certain character does something, and it's it's pretty crazy. Um, but I did enjoy that twist. I thought that was really really neat twist to happen. Um, but going back to Frank, he's a good character. I think that he's not he's not just a funny skipper guy that you would see in a Disney World attraction and the, on the actual ride. You know, he's not just there to be funny. There's a lot of things to his character. There's a lot of depth that I didn't expect there to be in this film, which is really nice. Um, but at the end of the day, this is a fun movie. You know, it's very fun. It's just action action scene, adventure moment, funny moment. It's really a, it's a long movie, but it feels kind of short because you're always having fun you know there's a bit, when there is downtime you know a more quiet scene they have a funny moment and i'm not saying it's you know constant like lsd trip funny action funny you know what i mean it's not like that um whenever there's an action scene or whenever there's a you know like a comedic moment it does kind of break the flow but there are slower scenes where it's just about the plot and you get to have the characters breathe you know there's a lot of good stuff in there um you know lily and 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 uh, frank is kind of like the han solo and uh, leia organa situation from the original trilogy it's all I'll say th uh, there but uh, i enjoyed it i really freaking enjoyed it and you know it's a disney movie uh there aren't any disney movies that are think i think are that bad um there's some i like better than others but i don't think i've ever seen a bad disney film um you know i'm not a huge fan of frozen Haunted Mansion, Country Bears, but none of those films are necessarily horrible. They're just not my cup of tea, you know. Um, but I do think this is a good movie. You know, a few negatives here or there. Some of the characters are a bit weird. Um, some of the editing can make it uh, kind of confusing um, when you first see it. But then, of course, when you when you first see it, but then when you you know actually go and watch the film, it makes sense. So again, I'm not going to count that. Um, but yeah, CGI could have been better. Acting, a few characters a little rough. And, uh, you know, it is a very fast-paced opening. There's a lot of exposition. So, uh, you know, make sure you're paying attention or you're going to kind of miss a lot of the film's plot. Uh, but I enjoyed it. It had great action. It had great humor. Great, uh, you know, great sense of adventure. Um, it was funny. It kept me on the edge of my, edge of my seat. And uh, it shocked me. Because, you know, the trailer looked good, but it didn't look anything special. It was like, yeah, I'll see it. You know, whatever. It'll be fun. But, uh, you know, I, walking away from it, I really did enjoy it. And I can't wait to, uh, you know, get it on Blu-ray. And uh, same with Cruella. You know, I didn't expect to like Cruella. That was freaking good. You go see that review if you haven't already. I've reviewed that already. But uh, it's a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Again, I'm probably going to give Jungle Cruise, uh, i probably give it a B plus. I'll do that. I think uh, normally I give most Disney movies in the A- minus to A plus range. But again, some of the characters were really annoying to me. I'm not going to say you're not going to like them. Again, this is all opinion based here. Uh, and then some of the CGI could have been better. And of course, you know, a little bit of a crazy opening. But, uh, you know, none of that stuff is bad. If you, if you watch the trailer and you're like, oh, this looks good, go see it in theaters. You know, Disney Plus, whatever. But you should see it on a big screen, you know. Wear your mask, whatever. But please go to the Epic Theater, watch this movie because it's very, very good. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait. So, again, B+. Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of Jungle Cruise. If you have seen it, tell me in the comments what you think without spoiling it. Um, because, again, it is a fairly new film. I don't want to just outright give anything away. Um, maybe one day I'll do a little bit of a spoiler discussion on that. But, again... 
Um, I tried to keep it as minimal uh, spoilers as I could, but again, I enjoyed it. I really, really did. You know, I, I thought it was going to be good, and I walked away very surprised. So again, B+. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it again on Blu-ray. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.